Hello, welcome to another episode of uh, Project A4. This one's a special one, especially for me, because my new shoes have come, my new rims. Uh, as you can see from the box, they are from OZ. And uh, I didn't want to go for a colored or a fancy wheel. I just wanted something that would match the car nicely. So I've gotten something rather simple, but it's quite fancy. They're called OZ NVs and they are uh, stock spec itself. They're 18 inches. I have not upsized. And they're just very pretty wheels. So today is going to be all about installing them. So these came along with our uh, rims. They are hub-centric rings and they are meant to be uh, a perfect flush fit with my car. So this is going to go right in the middle and uh, this is basically what going to be uh, what fits the gap between the wheel and uh, the fitment of my car. So the hub. So this is basically very necessary. Otherwise it will just not be flush. getting uh, the wheels replaced and uh, balanced I just came to check the fitment of uh, the hub centric ring and uh, there is ever so slightly just a little bit of play and it's getting me a little worried but uh, Ritik from Mechanics has told me that I can drive it but uh, we'll get it checked and see what to do at the workshop when we get it aligned so yeah this could be a little problem, but hoping it's not. So, we are done with uh, putting the wheels on. And I thought I wouldn't like them, but I kind of do now. It's kind of growing on me and uh, yeah, we have a little problem with the hub-centric rings but uh, we'll get them sorted and as you must have seen, we had a problem with the bolts as well but uh, everything is good now. I'm going to drive it to the office, to the workshop, get its wheel alignment done and see what I can do with the hub-centric rings. I'll keep you guys posted. So these are the bolts that I have been using. Uh, my old rims came in these. I bolted uh, Soham's rims with these two and they fit perfectly. 
but uh, these are the ones that I came with from uh, Darshan tires. These are conical bolts, which are basically meant for BMWs and other cars, which is basically not the kind of bolt that I needed. I needed them to be this shallow. But this cone basically means that the fitment wouldn't be correct and there would be quite a lot of pressure on the bolt well, uh, especially on this nut itself. So uh, we are arranging for this, but a little bit longer so that they fit properly and my wheels also fit nicely. As you can see, both have different lengths and uh, basically we need it to be this long with this kind of shallowness. I think I explained it perfectly. Yes, so a couple of days later, our bolts have arrived. As you can see, the difference is just the length of them. And these are OZ supplied bolts. So are my new centric hub rings. So these fit nice and flush on the wheel. And uh, these make it much easier to put the wheel onto the car. Otherwise, they uh, basically just put the support in the middle and they just make it a flush uh, fitment. So thank you guys, uh, Hot Tracks Bangalore, for sending these at uh, such short notice and thank you for the bolts. Okay, so I saw Soham do his own wheels, so even I thought I would give it a try. Rate me compared to Soham, I'm just putting the uh, hub centric ring. It should fit nice and flush. Barabar hai. It should fit flush. But it's not. A bad gear. are on and I do really like the design of the wheels but all the boys have been telling me that I should go for lowering springs. Uh, I am a little scared of lowering springs just because of the way my family rides and I do. So I am going to be keeping it in uh, this current spec and I'm not going to be doing a lowering spring uh, upgrade yet but if there are any uh, companies out there that would like to provide us with lowering springs I am definitely uh, not going to say no, but currently I am not going to put lowering springs and I might go for spacers in the rear because they are missing that kind of flush look. But otherwise, this is I think one of the best investments I've ever done for the car uh, lately and I'm quite happy with it. So we are taking uh, the A4 for a quick short spin uh, just before getting the alignment done. So we are going to be quite careful. And uh, we are doing this just basically because the car has been sitting for quite a while uh, on the bay. And uh, when that happens, the suspension usually gets very uncompressed and it just starts to be on still. So we need the car to settle down in its compression and uh, basically for all of the suspension to get back into normalcy. So we are just taking it for a quick spin going through some... Uh, smooth-ish roads and not pushing the car because we want all of the suspension bits and bushings to be nice and settled before we get the alignment done so that everything comes perfect. And just like that, the car is back to factory condition. So all the wheels are done, all of the suspension is done and the servicing 
is complete. So now it is as good as new, I expect. Uh, now what's left is fixing up the interior a little bit and then starting the mods. At the end of the day, I really like the way the wheels look and it has been a pretty painful job and I thank the mechanics to have so much patience with the car and with ordering all of the parts. So uh, a huge shout out to the mechanics automotive, check them out. They do a fantastic job in bringing lots of cars back to their original condition and perfect condition. And they've done the exact same job with my car. Thank you so much for watching. Now the next episodes are going to be mainly modifying and upgrading the interior or the exterior. So do look out for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.